Hey, what's up guys? Uh, thank you very much for being on Electrica. Now, uh, today I want to show you uh, how you can connect uh, a prepaid token meter uh, in case you have to by yourself, okay? Now, this meter here, uh, uh, unlike the tradition, the post-pay meter, this one is you have to buy credit and you credit it through this one here and then you get power released to you okay now getting one of these you must have gone uh to your uh power company uh like um from kenya and uh, this meter here is from kenya power because you're able even to see uh it's a property of kepiro c okay so that's where you're going to apply and then you get this in case you need a new supply or you might be uh, already uh, a customer with them and uh, you're on postpay but you want to maybe to shift to prepay, okay? You can visit them and they will tell you all the requirements. So, but there are some instances where you have this meter here and you have to connect it by yourself especially uh, if it's a big entity and maybe you have like 130, 100 or 30 meters or even 10 and then they will give it meter to you and then you're supposed to connect by yourself. Okay, so and also maybe you're just interesting or curious on how you can connect this meter, this video is for you, all right? Please don't forget to subscribe to like. All right, now this meter uh comes in two parts so you have the meter itself uh it's a computerized uh, electronic device you know that will allow uh power to go through it only if you credit it all right so crediting it you buy credit uh using your mobile wallet or your bank card uh, and then from maybe your desired vendor and then you can use this display here, you key in and then you credit this guy and then can release power to you. Okay, so having said that, let me show you how you can connect it in case you have to by yourself. Now, the one thing you notice that inside your box, uh, your meter box, all your distribution board, you're gonna have a rail uh, and that rail, you supposed to, you know, to hook this on the rail just the same way you always do with your breakers, okay? It, you see like this lock here, the same as this one, okay? So, after you've done that, now you must have prepared all your connections. So you have a breaker, uh, which is going to act as your incoming. Now, in this case, uh, from your cutout or from your bus bar, in case your distribution board, uh, your wires will come to this breaker here, and then where we are most interested is from the breaker to, to this meter, okay? Now, you will have to open this, but before we open, let us take a look here. So you see on this cover here, we have got some writings here. So they are showing you load mains. So uh, that means that uh, the upper uh, contacts are for load and then the lower contacts are for main that's the incoming and this is at the outgoing okay <clears throat> so let's just open this so now after opening this to expose the contacts okay so you have your wires ready now the wires from uh, this breaker here you will get them directly. So you have these wires here, you have uh, red and uh, black. So in case you're using, uh, you know, one type of color, then you have to denote such that it's easier to, you know, to differentiate them. So. So now you'll connect uh, First, we can connect the incoming. And the other thing, you must make sure that they are tight. You must make your connection is tight, very tight. 
and also you get the other wire also and then you put it there now you have to make sure that the strands are not seen you know you you you, you have to do that so that the, the, the strands are not really seen okay that can make your connection to look a bit uh, better and also to protect uh, in case there to be a short circuit, okay? All right, so now this is our incoming, okay? So this is our incoming. So we can connect the other wire also for our outgoing, so same live. So you're doing all this while your meter are hooked on the rail, okay? I don't expect you to connect your meters, just the same way I'm doing. I'm doing this just for the purpose of demonstration, okay? All right. Now, you can see this, that uh, the, lower, uh, the lower contacts, as I said earlier, are for you. Uh, incoming and then the upper contacts are for outgoing. Now what you're gonna do is that from this breaker here, this wire will be connected here. So the, the, this breaker brings in supply or power and then <coughs> again from the upper wires, uh, this one will go directly to your consumer unit, okay? Uh, but before you go to your consumer unit, you must also put a breaker here. You connect a breaker here. Okay, so those are two breakers, one breaker in the incoming and uh, one breaker to the outgoing, okay? All right, now, after you've done that, uh, before we do anything else, we have to put back the cover. That is before you power this meter here. You have to put back the cover and uh, you screw And you make sure that the holes, the holes in the screw, they are lining with the slots, such that they, when they, uh, the power guys come later, they can put a seal to help you not to get tempted to open this. Now, let me talk about one thing before uh, we move on. Now, the, this meter, they have what we call a tamper, okay, a protection. So. That means that you cannot bypass. The moment you connect this meter and put back the cover and activate the meter, now you no longer have access to this. Yes, you can open it. You, because you have your screwdriver, you can open it. But the moment you open it, it will lock itself. And you cannot unlock it until you get the tamper code from the supplying company. And that does not come cheap. It, all, it can also be accompanied by, uh, by a penalty because you're tempting to steal power, which is not a good thing, okay? All right. So before you put this cover back, you have to make sure that these wires are tight because still, like I said, you, after con uh, activating the meter, if the wire pops out, there's no way you're going to put it back because the meter will then lock itself. So you make sure everything is very tight and then you put back this cover, okay? Now, the second part is uh, activating your meter. So you, you have a code here, and uh, what you're gonna do is, uh, let me, and, and this I'm talking about the side of, uh, let me first talk about the side of uh, uh, domestic. So you have this one meter uh, and uh, from your meter box. So since uh, you're, you're single phase, uh, this won't really matter to you, but what you have to do is uh, to plug this in in your, in your extension. Now, remember, you don't have power in your house yet, okay? So your sockets inside your house are not working, but there is power before this meter. So, so you're going to get an extension, uh, you connect it before this meter here, and then you activate. Now, this is already powered, so now in activation, uh, you have a code that you're being given, and that code, you, you use it together with your meter number, okay? So, uh, together with your meter number. So, that code, you write it, uh, you add your meter number, and then you press enter. So, the, 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 the next time, the, I mean, the, the second step is you key in another code. So, all these codes, you, you, they are being given to you by your supplying company, okay? 
and uh, these codes are always unique to a particular unique to a particular uh, brand of the meter. Okay, so for example, uh, the codes that uh, are given to you they can always unique to this meter. Okay, so they are irrelevant to you if you're using another brand of meter. Okay, all right. So now, uh, since this is wireless, so you'll have to pair these two together. And then after you do that, that's when you're going again to do the last activation, okay? All those steps are very easy, uh, even if you're doing it by yourself. Now, the other thing that I can emphasize, talk about, is when you're activating these meters in a three-phase building. Now, that is, you have to take note. Unlike uh, the single phase, where you only have one line of power or one line of electricity inside there, so you're just going to connect this on that. But when you're doing it in a three phase, it's going to be different. You have to make sure if this meter is connected between a, uh, a red phase and a neutral, then equally so, this guy here, you have to connect him to the same line with this meter. Okay, so if you're activating a whole bunch of meters, you have always to make sure. Uh, if, for example, you have 10 meters connected on the same phase, uh, then that is okay. So you, you, you activate them w once, that's no problem. But you cannot activate uh, a meter that is on a different phase with the display. Okay, so you have to take note of that because I'm very sure. Uh, you are one guy out there and you're activating these meters and maybe this kind of a tip, this kind of information and be very helpful uh, to you, okay? So, uh, tell me if this video has helped you and please, if I've left any other thing, you can put it in a comment below, okay? Uh, like I said in the beginning, these meters, you can get them, for example, here in Kenya, if you need these particular meters, you have to go to Kenya Power and you apply, okay, and you be, you'll be given the, uh, the meters and the old, all the necessary codes that you're supposed to, uh, to use for activation, okay? So, thank you very much for watching, uh, and please don't forget to subscribe, to like, and share. So, one more thing, one more last thing. If you have this very type of meter, and then you're connecting it, and you, you, you got it in the right way, yeah, uh, and maybe you're missing a code. You, you, you can write a comment below. The only thing that you can't get, you can, that you're supposed to get from the utility company is the tamper code in case you tampered with your meter. If you messed with it, that one, there is no, you know, uh, uh, there is no shortcut around it. So you have to go back to your utility company, you explain, and then you're going to be given that. If there is a penalty, you feel free to serve it, okay? So thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, to like, and share. And right now, I'm out.